Mm -hmm. Howdy, everyone. It's me once again, the one and only Hello Rodan. And today, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by talking about their movies, theme parks, merchandising, whatever the case may be. Yeah, I'm drinking Starbucks. Ah, yes, yes, I'm one of those people. So what? Anyway, oh, I like my cup of joe. What? I brought this up quite a few times before. I like my coffee. Anyway, point being, today I'm going to be reviewing the, the 1940s version of um, Swiss Family Robinson. Which, yes, it's based on, upon the book. So I guess they took like two adaptations of the same book, I guess, which was released in, in the year 1812 uh, by the same name. But I've not read the book, by the way. So, um, uh, so I can't really say if it's faithful, faithful to the book or not, if any at all. But anyway, I'm just gonna just review this as a movie because it's a movie. Anyway, as always, I have to talk about the plot, of course. So let's just get into it, shall we? So, taking place in London in the year 1813, the Swiss father. William Robinson wishes to escape the influence of the, um, of the, I guess, the modern day, uh, back then anyway, London, and, uh, his, and trying to help his family. The oldest son uh, is, a, is obsessed with this kind of a thing, uh, whom he considers to be his hero. Well, basically, bottom line, what's going on here is that, yes, eventually they're going to be stranded in, the, in this one area. And there was this like whole storm thing or whatever, and they just stay there and they don't make do with this kind of life because they're not really accustomed to this kind of a thing, I guess. So yeah, I guess to kind of get away from the modern technology, again okay, modern day technology from that era, I guess. And yes, this of course has some religious undertones, so I guess it was kind of meant to be. In the same kind of way that Jesus Christ had apparently lived. So, I'm trying to keep in tune with that kind of a thing, uh, I guess. So, um, yeah. But whatever, I guess. Whatever. But, okay. Whatever. Yeah, they were trying to really get into the religious stuff in this movie. Which, yes, in some ways, I thought it was kind of annoying in other ways. Because it, it kind of made the characters... It was stupid in a lot of ways because you mean to tell me like there's one scene where the there was a storm that pretty much wrecked up to everything because they, they built like they had like a house that they built or whatever the food supply a lot of stuff was destroyed because of the storm and then the father character took as if it was a, a sign from god to punish them what it's really dumb whatever movie whatever so yeah, it got a little preachy. Is what, I'm, is, is what I'm getting at, folks. So yeah, well, like I was saying with the middle son, Jack. Yeah, he's supposed to be like this um this selfish person who cares about only about fashion and money, as if it's the movie, as if the character was trying to make a statement about this kind of a thing, going away from the uh, practice of religion or whatever. Okay, yeah, but I don't know, folks. That movie's alright, I guess. And um, yes. Yeah, I'm using the religious aspect as a complaint, as a flaw, because it really, it really brought it down as far as I was concerned. And I mean, it's not the worst thing I've seen. Okay, it, the, at the end of the day, the religious stuff looks like the movie's all right. The movie's all right, I guess. It's one of those Disney movies. I'm probably gonna watch like like once or twice, and, I, and that's and that'll be it, I guess. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting to see a lot, of, a lot of the older Disney films, which is one of the reasons I'm going to watch this anyway, because it's one of those older movies anyway. So, but that's fine. I like going to where, like, long, long ago, when what Disney was around, we didn't know he's still alive, going to those live-action movies and whatnot. And I still, I still stay to this very day, even though this is not my favorite one. This, no, by no means... My favorite Disney movie when it comes to live action stuff, but the live action stuff, yeah, it still feels like the older live action films are still better than the more recent live action stuff. Maybe just me, I guess, but 
Yeah, just a uh, whatever guess. So yeah, of course, boys would be rough housing and whatnot. So yeah, there's that. So yeah, of course, the boys gotta be rough. That's definitely in there, obviously, folks. And there was a trigger warning for this movie. Yeah, I watched this on Disney Plus, by the way. There was a trigger warning because they were smoking tobacco. So what? And? Man, people get offended over everything nowadays. I mean, it was a smaller thing. So what they smoked tobacco? The woman did. The little kid did. The other boys did. So what? I don't care. I don't know how smoking tobacco could be considered as a... a well, that alone would receive a trigger warning. That's weird. Why, why you gotta do that? It doesn't make no sense to me. Whatever. But hey, maybe that's me just nitpicking it there, but I just thought that was weird. They had that in the beginning of the film. And yeah, they didn't exactly have the biggest budget for this film. And in some ways, yes, you can't tell. So, okay. I don't know. I can say that if you don't check this out, fine. The acting isn't too bad. So, altogether, yes, decent acting, a pretty solid story. I mean, the story itself isn't anything groundbreaking, many means, but it does what it's supposed to. It does what it's, you know, bring in the, start, the strategy here. Just trying to have some sort of moral lesson, I, I guess you can say. So, there's that, of course. Which is fine if, you, if movies with messages is your cup of tea. I mean, I can take him leaving, I guess. It just depends on what you're trying to tell, I guess. But whatever, I guess. Anyway, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 6.0, I think. It's a 6.0 out of 10 for me. And as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see you. Oh, yeah. Later.